Let's do some basic grid calculations for uh, drainage network analysis. So what I've got is I've got a little uh, digital elevation model of a drainage here from the Dragon's Back and you can see the elevations here 620 to 705. So most of our work is going to be done inside of uh, Arc Toolbox and down in Spatial Analyst there's a hydrology toolbox and so here in the hydrology toolbox there are uh, a sequence of things we're, uh, operations we're going to do. First we're going to fill the uh, DEM which means we're going to fill the pits and make sure that the, the there's continuity in the drainage network which sometimes there isn't but this will ensure that the uh, Change network that we ultimately compute is m most connected because a lot of times DEMs have little steps that are artificial and that uh, s basically act as little basins. So that'll be the first thing is to do a fill. Then the next thing we'll do is compute a flow direction grid on the filled DEM and then we'll do the flow accumulation and that will give us the drainage area for every pixel in the DEM. So first thing we do is uh, fill, double click on that, input the surface raster, which is the one we have loaded, and then we'll save our output surface raster in the exercise, we'll call it B1 fill, and we'll accept all the other defaults. Okay, so now we have a filled DEM. It's usually quite similar to the regular DEM, at least in gross appearance. So next thing let's do is let's compute the flow direction. It's very important to remember to do the uh, use the input surface raster as the filled DEM. And let's uh, save this one as B1 deer. And we'll not add any other modifications. So this one now has the colors show the flow directions and by convention they're increasing by a factor of two each time but really it's just going around the compass. So the third thing we do is do flow accumulation and now we input the flow direction raster V1 deer. The output accumulation raster is called V1 acum and we just need to make sure it's a f output data type is float, floating point and so there it is. There is the drainage network, and you can see the uh, goes from zero to twenty thousand square meters of contributing area. So it looks pretty good. But one thing that uh, because the range is so high, zero to twenty thousand, it might it's often good to uh, take the log of this to uh, better visualize the range of contributing area. So to do that, we use the our friend the raster calculator. And in this case, we're going to do a math operation, log base 10 on the accumulation direct, uh, grid. So you see we use uh, we first clicked on log 10, and then we uh, added the layer or the grid on which we're going to compute. And now we'll save the output raster as B1 ACC log. and we say OK. So there it is. And the last thing what I like to do is to change the color map to one that goes from basically hot to cold and as it gets more blue the uh, we go down the drainage network. Now there are some uh, null values in that grid and that's what uh, we're sort of seeing through. The other thing we can do is change the layer background to black and that'll let us visualize this a little bit better. So there we go. There is the uh, flow accumulation grid. The last thing that we want to do is, you know, this goes up to the very finest parts of the hill slopes and we know that drainage networks aren't really stable and sometimes hill slope processes may dominate over fluvial processes so the transition from hill slope to fluvial is right at the gully head or some critical contributing area which I'm going to assume is about 
100 square meters. So what we do now is we go back to raster calculator and we're going to use our con, con additional command. But here we're going to say where the, the previously calculated accumulation grid that we, of which we took the log is greater than or equal to 2. So remember that's going to be 10 to the 2 or 100 square meters. Where that is true, give us back that log grid and let's call this one B1ACC log net. Let me say OK. And now if we give it that same color map, we see a more realistic looking drainage network with what we probably would say was a more persistent uh, structure.